Hi, this is Rick Hansen on Being Humble, the 24th practice in my book, Just One Thing. Uh, humility may sound bad. It may sound like it's being self-effacing or less than others or inadequate, but actually it means none of those things. It simply means we're stepping out of the kind of rat race, the, the spin endlessly of kind of self-glorification or competing with other people for ego supplies. The root of the word humble uh, from the Latin means the ground, the earth. When we're humble, we're, we're relaxed, we're straightforward, but we're not trying to puff ourselves up. Uh, when we are humble, it gets us off of other people's radar and gets us off the battlefield sometimes of competing with them for ego supplies, which is a great relief. So to enjoy humility, and that's the focus here, it's enjoying. I have a couple of suggestions to make. One is to actually build up your sense of worth, not grandiosity, but actual worth. And there are other practices as in these short videos, uh, taking in the good and seeing the good in yourself that can help you do that. And also being assertive by sticking up for yourself, that'll actually help you be more humble. And then the other thing I can suggest is disengage as best you can from that kind of a commentary in the mind endlessly that's self-referential. I'm so good, I'm so bad, I'm so good, I'm so bad. Eh, it's all a drag and it all takes you away from a natural and relaxing humility. So, may you be humble.